Millersville University has undergone many changes in recent years. From the upgrade in athletic facilities with the addition of Pasilla Gym and changes to Beamsdurfer Stadium, to the new Ganser Library, the transformation of Beamsdurfer Library, and to an executive center, Millersville University continues to make changes to improve their campus for their faculty and students. Please join our student tour guides as they introduce you to more of the structural and technological upgrades that the university has instituted as it continues to grow and improve. Hey guys, my name is Mark. I'm an occupational safety major here at Millersville. I'm a sophomore. Um, I'm involved in American Society of Safety Engineers and other things here in Osborne Hall. I'm going to show you the building today. Well, this is Osborne Hall. Um, in this hall we have about four or five majors. We have the industry and technology major, and that major has all sorts of options. You can go for nanotechnology, uh, polymers, stuff like that. And then upstairs is OSHA, that's my major. It's occupational safety and environmental health. Um, anything from workplace standards, keeping the uh, workers happy and safe. It's basically what they do. Um, we also have our technology education department. As you know, Millersville is known for their education, and technology education is really big here. There are actually a lot of specialized classrooms in this building, a lot of production labs. On the first floor, we have all sorts of the wood shop, the metal shop, stuff like that. Downstairs, we have robotics, electronics labs. Upstairs in the OSHA department, we have the fire lab, ergonomics lab, system safety, and we even have an environmental hygiene lab where we do air sampling and stuff like that. All right, guys, this is a typical OSHA classroom. I'm in here about five hours a day, so I see a lot of this room. Um, I don't know if you might recognize it from when you've been here, so a lot has changed. We have the huge desks, and as you can see, the whiteboard in front of us, which we use a smart cart. Dr. Anna and Dr. Specht, which are our two OSHA main professors, they use it all the time. They use our projector up here. Um, my seat is back there. I sit there every class. Um, so it might look a little different, but same classes. Hi, my name is Christina Orlando. I'm a sophomore elementary education major. Um, on campus, I'm involved in the all-campus musical organization and the Millersville University Choir. Um, now I will give you a tour of Sayre. Um, in this building um, is all the education classes um, and all the education, education professors' offices. Um, so any type of education class I have, I come right here to stay. Um, what makes this building special is that it is the newest building on campus. Um, and also what's really special about this building is that it's the only green building on campus as well. Stayer used to actually be a residence hall, but recently it was renovated. Um, right now we're inside a Stayer classroom. Um, pretty much in here we have a lot of um, updated technology. Um, over here we have our big projector screen that the teachers definitely take advantage of. We have um, a smart cart system over in the corner um, that has um, like the most updated tech computer technology um, and an Elmo that the teachers can use to project their work onto the screen. Um, but this has mostly just been renovated and it looks so much nicer than it did before. Um, and everything is really updated, both the furniture and the technology. Um, it really helps a lot with just being able to understand what the teachers are saying, um, a lot easier for note taking, um, and just you know, getting used to what kind of technology you might want to use in your classroom one day. Hi, my name's Celicia. I'm a senior here at Millersville University. I'm an art major and a psychology major. Other than that, I do work on campus at the admissions office being an assistant SHARP coordinator, and I'm also the vice president of University Activities Board. Uh, today I'm gonna actually show you our art building, which is called Bradenstein Hall, which is right behind me. Our art building offers a lot of mediums for our students to be able to pursue. On the third floor, we have um, painting, which is located up there, painting and photography. And downstairs on the second floor, we have our graphic design program, printmaking, and also art education classrooms with, along with that, is um, our jewelry making classrooms. On the first floor, we have our art education classroom in which you would have lecture courses going on. And we also have our sculpture room. And then in our basement, we have our ceramics lab, and we also have a new addition to our ceramics lab this year, which we're very fortunate to have, which we just add on a whole new kiln room. And I'll be showing you a little bit of that later on. Right now, we're located on our first floor of Bradenstein Hall. This is called um, Sykes Gallery, which is our gallery for professionals to come in and show their artwork. Currently, we have a show going on with Aaron Brooks' work and Paul Manlove. They were both professors, adjunct professors of Millersville at some point. And um, their work is being showed for our students. They also did a lecture series for us, so our students were able to talk to them. 
Um, along with this gallery, we also have one located on the third floor called Swift Gallery. And Swift Gallery, they're for BFA majors who are actually going out in the field and becoming new artists. Um, so they're able to show their work for our students before they leave Millersville. Right now we're located in the basement floor of ceramics. Uh, right behind me you're taking a look at one of our new gas kilns. Uh, we just added this whole new room this summer that we put in three new additional gas kilns custom made for our students to be able to fire more often. Um, three years ago we also got our NASA accreditation after doing a 1.1 million dollar renovation to our um, ventilation system throughout this whole building so our students will be able to breathe more healthier. Hey, my name is Alyssa Cook, and I'm a sophomore elementary and special education major. I'm going to be giving a tour of the Student Memorial Center today. Um, inside is just our fitness center for the university, our university store, our bookstore, newspaper and radio, and just some other cool things like the galley where you can eat. Right now I'm standing in front of the galley. Um, we kind of have a pirate theme going on since our mascot is the Marauder, um, but it's just one of our eateries on campus. You have a meal allowance of about $5.75 and you can come in here and pretty much get any kind of food that you want. Um, it offers cheesesteaks, pizza, subs, things like that. Behind me is our university store. Here you can pretty much get anything and everything with a Millersville logo on it, so it offers a lot of different Millersville merchandise. Downstairs at our textbook store, you can grab your textbooks and come up here and pay for them for the whole semester, so that's really nice too. Plus, we offer a lot of green and organic clothing. Right now we're in our Mac Computer Lab in our Student Memorial Center. It's open 24 hours for students to use, and the Mac computers are only a year old. It also offers free printing for anything, so it's really nice. <laughs> so right now we're in our Club de Ville. It's where a lot of our students come to hang out. They have live bands here on Thursday nights, also movie screenings on a huge projection screen. You can also bring your computer here and get wireless internet anywhere on campus, so it's really cool. We also offer a Starbucks, which you can see behind me, and there's pool tables and other cool things to do like that just to come and hang out with your friends. So right now we're in our University Fitness Center. There's a lot of really cool rooms and equipment in here that we can use. My favorite room is the one behind me. Um, it's our cardio room, and there's huge big screen TVs hanging on the wall. You can actually plug your headphones in and watch the TVs while you work out. Also offered in the Fitness Center are two different weight rooms, one with free weights and a bunch of different machines in it. We also offer a basketball court, two side volleyball courts, a volleyball court, and a racquetball court. There's also a free trainer service that you can get here. So our Student Memorial Center is going through a lot of different changes, one of them being the fitness center. It's going to be two stories going to three stories, so it's going to be really cool. Um, we're actually going to upgrade a lot of our new equipment, and it should be done in spring of 2011. Hi, my name is Leah Kirstein. I'm a junior broadcasting major here at Millersville University. Some things I do here on campus include that I'm a part of the Millersville University television station and a member of the National Broadcasting Society. Today I'll be taking you on a tour of Rafters Theater and Dutcher Hall. Okay, so we are now inside of Dutcher Hall. Dutcher Hall is home to our theater department here at Millersville. Theater is part of our communications department. Our communications department includes theater, as I just said, PR, comm studies, and broadcasting. We are now on the second floor of Dutcher Hall. The cool part about this hall is that there's only a couple classrooms and also that it is the oldest building here on campus. It was built in 1865 and the Rafters Theater, which I'm about to show you, was recently renovated. On this floor in particular is the Practice Theater and also the Classroom Theater. As you can see, we are now inside Rafters Theater and we're on the set of Hair. Hair was a musical recently performed here at Millersville. Each semester, about four to five shows go on inside this theater, and the theater seats about 100 people. As Millersville University moves past its 150th anniversary, it continues to find ways to expand and progress. Although Millersville's campus has undergone countless changes, the pond still offers its scenic atmosphere, and the university still commits itself to giving its students the best chance to grow and mature.